and I don't even just mean for your social media page, even in acting, except you don't blow, except you don't blow like Genevieve, where we say, if you pass by your shadow, they shall know you. Avoid dramatic hell. All these hairs that. Hello, ma. <laughs> oh my God. This face, now be the market. You want to sell this face. No filters, no dramatic hairstyle, less makeup. You hear me? Less makeup. Because we need to know the real you. Because some of the type of makeups that we do these days, you they transform person. You know, go can't be like yourself again. Which brings me to this vital point also. Another good thing that happened to me as an actor that established her skills as an emotional actor is that to be an emotional actor meant that 98% of the time, when I see me without makeup, I be... Yeah. And no, it doesn't matter if I have uneven skin tone, discoloration, but when I shall see me, I'll be boom. That's how come my face was able to stick really fast. If I always had lashes and blush and contact lens and mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I could if the rules require it. But if the rules don't, honey, less is always more yeah now if you're a guy this works for guy and girl still on social media in fact overall lifestyle you have to work out you have to look good yes now now visual arts i go first chop. you go look good the girls now have started enhancing their looks using surgical procedures i'm not mad at that but the tricky thing about those surgical procedures is that with all that curviness, it's not every role that you can fit in and pull off impressively. Because those curves get in the way. Now, if you're a guy, honey, you might want to work out. You should. I go first chop. Now, beyond the physical appearance, one of the many benefits of exercises is the fact that you build your energy, your strength level. Acting is draining, is exhausting. So if you don't stock up on your energy tank, you crash out. Yeah. Third one. It's good to be versatile, but out of all the versatilities that you have submitted yourself under, you will see pick one, pick one dimension that works, that you're effortless in. Yeah, master the art of that. Be a guru at it. So that when you nail it, they go take and know you. You have to be known for something. Yes, that's why you see some people say, ah, I don't like this guy. This guy, they're good for action films. It's because the guy can spend time building energy, strength, style, swag, aggression, violence at every time. He didn't just accidentally become a, a, a gangster. He's intentional. She's intentional. You see me cry in movies, honey. I don't accidentally cry. cry. I trained to cry. I trained to be a cry cry actor because I wanted you to know me for it. And no, it wasn't the only thing I was good at. I was good in I was good in gangster, violent, Ron's girl. I was good in village girl and all, but the emotion? No, I think I'm personal. And it worked. Just like comedy. We've had comedians come and go. We still have some now. Now those comedians, it doesn't mean that they can't act serious role. They can if you give it to them. But they would rather be funny because it works for them. It pulls in the crowd. It leaves a lasting impression. Dear actor, as you're building your way to the top, as you are getting versatile, 
Decide what you want to be. You want to be funny? Work on your funny bones. You want to be gangster? Yo! Bring some energy to it. Run, somersault, jump. Fight. <laughs> you want to be emotional? Yep. Go and learn how to induce emotion. Then they learn them. Get it? There's more. Please wait for my book on acting. It's coming. It's going to be worth it. <laughs>